it's Cupcake here. Today we have a huge, ginormous slime haul from the Kauai Slime Company. We are going to be reviewing a million slimes. So this video will be split into two parts. This is part one. I will leave the link to part two in the description box and you guys can watch both parts whenever you want. As you guys can see, we've got a Kauai Slime Company slime guide and it tells you how to play, clean a hard non-porous surface, wash your hands with soap and water, pull your slime out of the container and have fun. They have little tips and tricks of how to play with the different kinds of slimes like butter slime, cloud slime, glossy slime, a whole bunch of slimes that they sell in their shop. I ordered some slime containers. You can store your slimes in here or your add-ins, whatever you want to store in these cute containers. And they sell them in a pack of six. So this was one order. I think it was $4.99. I've already used two of these on my slime channel, Slimeology. Along with my order, they sent this free Cute Kawaii Slime Company tote with the company mascot on there. I'm not sure if they're still doing the tote. I did order this a while back, maybe like a month ago, and I haven't gotten to unboxing the slime. But yeah, it's super cute. It's got a zip closure. That's nice. It's good for slime supply storage. All right, so here we are with both of the boxes. Let's see what's inside this one. Oh, the boxes are super cute. They've got the little mascot on them and a whole bunch of like little octopus and jellyfish and starfish. I will leave each of the slimes in the description box with the price so you guys can easily find it. All of these slimes ended up costing me exactly $412.92. Now this is the Don't Feed the Unicorns. We've got the four ounce of the same slime. I wish they would add the names on the bottom of the jars just in case you wanna repurchase them or you forget what they're called. So let's look at this one. They did come with these cute little add-ins, one unicorn charm and one little candy charm. The candy charm is a resin charm, so it's hard and the unicorn is like a silicone charm so you can bend it around, which is good because you won't feel it jabbing you when you play with your slime. So here we go. Let's go ahead and give this a whiff. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good. It smells like bubble gum, like original flavored bubble gum but it also smells like the best cotton candy I've ever smelt before. Oh, and it's so buttery and luscious. Wow, look at those pretty colors. It is a little bit sticky. Like I said, it's been waiting in the box for me to open it up for, uh, let's say a month. Those colors are the prettiest unicorn colors to add to a slime. They are so vibrant and so, so pretty. So to unstickify this a little bit, let's add some of our slime activator. Maybe a couple drops or, ooh, maybe a couple drops will do. You can really tell how buttery it is just from looking at it. Let's add the add-ins. The add-ins are so pretty too. Oh, this is so, so pretty and satisfying. And let's mix this on in. Of course, they're gonna disappear once you mix them in. Next up, let's check out the clear slime. Here is the slime activator. Before I used the slime softener on the butter slime. So let's use the slime activator on this one. Ooh, they really packed the clear slime in there. Ooh, definitely, definitely sticky. Let me see if I can reactivate it with a couple sprays. So inside the slime, we've got some bijou beads, small crystal diamonds, seashell confetti, glitter, and two little charms. One of the charms is Shelly the Jelly, the company's logo. 
The more you play with it, the more air bubbles you get. It feels like the regular clear slime you make at home and you let it sit for four to five days and it gets clear. I make a lot of clear slime for Slimeology and this is exactly what it feels like. It doesn't feel any thick or any different from what we make at home. And we've also got a little seashell charm. So let's dive right into the sour cream and onion slime dip with these crazy slime charms. I wonder what this smells like. Let's get a close up whiff. It does smell like sour cream, but if you mixed a little bit of sweet cream with sour cream. That is crazy how they got the smell. It is on the sticky side, so let's go ahead and reactivate that. That ought to do the trick. Oh, look on the bottom, we've got clear slime. So it's almost like a really thick butter slime up on top and a clear slime on the bottom. The more and more I smell this from <laughs> where I'm standing, it's not smelling so good. I really don't like the sour cream scent. Mm smells really buttery too and it's very melty i don't think that's the clear slime on the bottom i think that's the slime kind of coming apart okay so now it's activated and back to its original form the way it was supposed to be it's actually a pretty clicky slime Let's add the add-ins. So we've got three chips and it feels like they made them out of air dry clay. It looks so real and so good. And it makes sense to have it smell like sour cream. We've also got two hard pieces of garlic charms and some chives. Next up, let's try the Melon Pan Clay Slime Duo. This slime is supposed to have a self-inflating chewy texture. Here is the Melon Pan Clay and the Glossy Marbled Slime Base. It's supposed to be scented with a sweet hint of summer melon mixed with a light aroma of sweet bread. A little bit of the slime has leaked through and it's gotten a little bit crusty. Oh no, this one is also deactivated. <gasps> it's so runny. Okay, we're gonna have to activate this before it leaks everywhere. As you guys can see, it really is a glossy slime for the base. It has a very pretty melony color and I do smell the melon and the bread mixed scent in there. So now we're ready for the melon pan. This is some soft clay, just like Daiso clay. Let's see if it's scented. Mmm, it smells like melon, just like the slime. Let's get it right up top and smoosh it in. Thank you. 
Next up, let's try the boba slime. It's the taro bubble frost drink slime for $16. This is supposed to be super stretchy and its holdability is on the slippery side. The slime is a jelly cream texture with faux tapioca boba pearls. They are hard, they're not squishy. And they are separate from the slime. We've definitely got a butter slime in this one. It's two-tone purple, and taro is my favorite bubble tea flavor. Definitely smells like taro. I do wish the tapioca pearls were on the squishy side. That would have made for a better playability experience, but it's still not bothersome when you do feel them in the slime. Next up is the Poached Pear DIY Clay Slime Duo for $18. So this one's supposed to smell like pears and caramelized brown sugar, tonka bean, and vanilla drizzle. Combining everything, it's supposed to make a chewy, smooth feeling slime that is so addicting to play with. You've got a handcrafted clay pear form, a slightly jiggly aquas pear jelly slime, sugar crystals, and pear fimo slices. Very cute and chubby little pear. Let's get it on in. So a poached pear is supposed to look like this. And then we've got our little Fimo pear bits, plus the sugar crystals. That is seriously the most aesthetically pleasing slime. Look how pretty that is. Once you're done marveling at it, it's time to smush our little pear into the slime. Next up is the Sweet Yogurt Parfait Slime. This one is $9. It's a creamy vanilla bean butter slime base with a sweet berry clear slime on the bottom. And there's supposed to be four berry charms in there. This was supposed to be a lot prettier than it's looking right now, but it kind of got messed up. Oh, it smells like baby powder. It smells nothing like a fruit and yogurt parfait. Next up, let's try a savory one. We'll do the summer corn chowder. Hopefully this one survived the long wait. A lot of the slimes I feel so bad, they are all melted. I shouldn't have waited so long to unbox them. They did not do good. So this is a 12 ounce soup container and it's $16. It's got a slippery holdability and its stretchiness is super stretchy. It comes with these little add-ins and charms with crushable potato foam chunks. That's supposed to give it a nice bubble pop and squishiness. Ooh, it does have chunky fake potatoes. It has that same kind of cheesy, buttery popcorn scent that the sour cream and onion had, minus the onion though. It's a huge tub of slime though, so that is very good value for $16. Mm. 
We got cute little star crackers. Here's a heart cracker and a regular shaped cracker. They look real. They did really good on those. Next, we have the Arctic Starfish Floam Slime. This was $13. It's a micro foam slime that's bubbly and crunchy and it's scented like icy blue raspberries. This does need to be activated. Poor, poor slimes. It's really stretchy. And here are the little charms that comes with the slime. Oh, it matches so perfectly. We've also got another little charm in there. It says, let it snow. It really does remind me of a wintry wonderland. And that is it for part one. Be sure to check back for part two. I will leave the links for part one and part two, both in the description box for each of the videos. And we'll check out the rest of the slimes. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.